Alrighty, so after weeks of being tied up with exams, papers, midterms, and all other sorts of school business, I finally get a chance to review something for you guys. So let's do this. One Piece Pirate Warriors, aka Kaisukamuso. Now the story of One Piece Pirate Warriors follows the tale of a young man named Monkey D. Luffy who is on his personal quest to become the Pirate King. Along the way, he comes across a colorful band of characters, all of whom who have their own personal motivations for wanting to follow him. Now, I myself don't know a lot about the One Piece universe and storyline, but I asked one of my friends if this is pretty close to the canon of the story, and he told me that says, yes, this is pretty much a heavily condensed version of the first half of the show. Now, the gameplay setup is very reminiscent of the Dynasty Warriors series, but since it's made by the same studio, Tecmo Koei, that should come as no surprise. You're thrown into a battlefield, and your basic objective is murder tons of dudes and clear out the map. While doing so, there are certain other objectives you have to go and accomplish while you're doing this, such as protecting your allies, clearing out a certain area, defeating a certain enemy, so there are various things you have to do within the basic setup of the gameplay. Now let's look at some of the upsides of this game. As someone who's not a One Piece fan, I actually found the story and the characters to be pretty interesting, each having their own little motivations and their own storylines, giving a chance for them all to develop properly, and it was fun to watch them grow, and it was fun to see them and meet them along the way, and try to figure out, oh, that's how that person came along. Another thing that works in this game's favor is the presentation. From what I've seen, the only thing I've really seen that's One Piece related is the movie Strong World. And comparing it that to this game, it seems like they've captured the essence and the style of the show very well. It's very, it's very colorful, it's vibrant, and it's actually very, it's very reminiscent of the show, and it captures it very well. Another thing that works in this game's favor is the fact you get to play with and experiment with different members of the crew, such as Sanji, Zoro, Nami, Robin, Chopper, etc. Now we're done with the good, let's get to the bad. I will admit, going into a battlefield and just obliterating the crap out of everything in sight is a lot of fun. I would be lying if I said I didn't get bored a couple of times throughout the course of the game because of the fact of its repetitive nature. Yes, it's fun doing that, but when that's really the only major thing that you do for the span of a few hours and hours on end, it just kind of lost the little bit of the fun factor. Not to mention there were some puzzles in there and it just felt... The best way I can describe it is half-baked. They just didn't feel... They felt like they were unnecessary and the fact that they were trying to add in something because they knew how repetitive the game was getting. Another downside for this game, and at least for me, is the fact that the soundtrack is kind of forgettable, which to me is rather sad because I normally can remember video game soundtracks very well. But in the case of One Piece Pirate Warriors, I don't remember a single track from the game at all. I'm sorry, but I just found the soundtrack very forgettable. And if there's one last thing I have to mention as good of a criticism towards the game, is the fact that while it is true you do get the chance to see most of the crew's backstory, there are certain characters that have an omission from the game in terms of understanding how they came to be part of the crew. Most notably, oh god, what's, what's that guy's name? Skeleton guy, looks like Jack Skellington with an afro if you were a pirate. Brock! Oh, Brock, that's it! Oh, wait, I'm probably pronouncing his Rayma. Oh, well. Well, the bottom line is that it has a fun and very interesting storyline with some real legitimate drama at points. It also has a good presentation, very very faithful to the show, and the fact that it has a lot, it allows you to experiment, experiment with different crew members, but forgettable soundtrack and gameplay that just, while fun at first, kind of got dull after, after several hours of it. I can't lie and say that I enjoyed the whole way through. I was starting to get bored after a few hours of doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And so I can't really get it to good game, not quite perfect, so I will say One Piece Pirate Warriors is a fun but a flawed game. It's not bad. It's, I will say this. It's not bad. I did enjoy my time with it, and I'm glad I did play it. And I will say this is probably the highest praise I can give the game. It has made me more interested in looking into the One Piece series as a whole. So there you have it, everybody. That's my review of One Piece Pirate Warriors. I hope you enjoyed this review. And until next time, I'm Perry, the One-Armed Legend. You name it, I can play it.